If you wanna make $1,700 plus a week in affiliate marketing with Facebook ads, you need an amazing offer in front of your product so you can get leads at a low cost and you can convert them. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an amazing offer that will bring in people at a low cost that will be buyers for your products, so stay tuned. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to pick the perfect offer to put in front of your product. So you might be wondering, what is an offer? So an offer is different from the product and basically, the offer is what gets people in the door. It's like a discount, a deal, some sort of freebie, some sort of um, exchange, what's called like an ethical bribe. And basically you're just giving somebody something that's really cool, that's gonna be re really related to the product. And then you can bring them into your funnel, they can opt in and then they can see your actual product or services and you can start to upsell from there. Uh, most businesses do this, you know, whether it's a grocery store that allows you to come in and look at the items and browse them for free. That's basically their version of a lead magnet leading you into the store and then also offering, you know, discounted prices and rewards. And then, you know, there's tons of digital companies that do this, like you have a free guide, a free training, etc. So you want to look at your product or service that you're trying to promote and then you want to find an offer you can put in front of it if you want to lower your cost per acquisition and get more leads that you can follow up with and then make sales. And this is gonna help you build your list of people that are gonna buy other products from you because you don't want people just to be buyers and then quit. You're gonna hit a ceiling and you're not gonna be able to maximize profit from each person and have a lifetime value for them. If we go to ClickBank as an example, which is a great marketplace for products, and we we're talking about using Ted's Woodworking as a uh, product to promote, what you wanna do is you wanna look at Ted's Woodworking and think, what is something great that I could put in front of this product and then to market it? So let's do this. Let's look up Ted's Woodworking and let's look at the actual product itself. So let's click on this link. And so basically it's a bunch of wood plans. So somebody who's coming to this site that's going to convert or is likely to convert is somebody who is interested in building their own products. They want to have designs. They're interested in these wood plans that they're clicking through and they want to build something at home. So if you give away something for free or low cost that is about the home, and when I say low cost, probably around like one to seven dollars, all this is trying to do is offset your lead cost and making it for free is really good and then upselling to like what's called a tripwire, which is that you know seven to twenty dollar product that kind of offsets the cost it took for you to acquire them, meaning like pay for that traffic to get them through your funnel. And so the idea is, here's these wood plans, right? Why don't we just give some free ones? And then that way, it's directly related to the actual service and product, and that people are going to want to convert on the next page. They got value from you. They trust you. They trust that you're going to serve them a, a product that you want. And it's the same thing with sales. Like if you trust the person that's selling to you and you don't think they're just lying to you to get money out of you, then you're more likely to buy. And that comes from empathy. That comes from understanding the situation you're in as a buyer and then trying to help the buyer along the journey. You're just doing it in a digital way. You're providing this ethical bribe to get them to trust you and see all the value you're trying to give them for free, and then they're going to buy your products and trust you and open your emails. And this is a great way to generate leads. So the idea is that this offer is going to end up being your lead magnet. So I found this online, and it's called The Art of Woodworking, and it actually comes from uh, Ted's Woodworking. And I had to dig around and actually watched a YouTube video and found it uh, that way. Uh, through somebody else showing how to promote this product, which is really good. Uh, it was a good idea, and it's a great way to generate leads. Because when I was starting to promote Ted's Woodworking, I was I was having trouble getting leads at a low cost, and I was wondering why people weren't opting in. And it was because I wasn't giving them an offer. I wasn't giving them a reason to opt in. You know, people aren't going to just give up their their money or contact information if you have nothing to exchange. At the end of the day, it's always a value exchange of something. In this case, we're asking for an email address or a phone number or and their name in exchange for this lead magnet, which is our offer. So the art of woodworking is, you know, 40 step-by-step -step plans, and it has all these different plans that are built in, and it's it's basically, you know, the precursor to the 16,000 plans which they're going to pay for. And it gives you, 
you know, all this education on how to build stuff, what the dimensions are, how to buy material, all that stuff. And this is great for somebody who wants to buy the materials and build this stuff at home. And so this is a great way to educate somebody, give them a ton of value up front, and that way they're going to be like, oh, wow, this person really, really cares about, you know, me building these projects, and they're really trying to help me, and it's going to give me something to work with before I actually make a purchase. Because if I like the 40 plans, I'm probably going to like the 16,000 plans. And that's the idea. So you don't want to just give some junk offer up front, like, you know, I'm going to give you one plan that I made up myself. Like, give them something that's that's been proven. You know, if you have to buy the product for a couple dollars, buy it. Because at the end of the day, you're not just promoting this to one person. You know, you're promoting this thousands and thousands on a daily basis, especially if you can ramp up your... Uh, your traffic spend and um, you know it's converting really well you know at a minimum you're gonna have you know probably 30 to 50 people seeing this a day and you're gonna want to be able to capitalize on that and the best way is to have a high converting offer like this up front the offer piece of it is the actual you know the guide and then you piece that along with the uh, the free aspect or whatever the cost deal is right and so in this case it's free and if you're struggling to find, you know, different things to put in front, so like if you're looking for like lead magnets, right? Optin Monster is really good. Uh, they're a really good resource, and I can put this like in, down in the description below. You can look at all these different types of lead magnets. A lead magnet is literally exactly what it sounds like. It's a magnet that draws leads in. Uh, so, and the magnet in this case would be our 40 plans. It's it's just a it's a product or service that is low risk and it's irresistible meaning they they feel like they have to get it because it's so good and then it brings people in the door and it's really really accessible and um, you want to make things quick wins because if you give somebody like something really long that's hard to see if it's valuable then it's not going to help them but like for instance you know like a, a checklist or you know like a, f a five point guide or something or um, you know cheat sheets templates something that can actually get a result swipe files a lot of these are digital if you're in a, like an e-com store, something tangible, you could give um, you know a small introduction video to how to use the product, or you can provide a discount, or like there's a lot of different things you can do. But that's a quick win as well. It's just a little more tangible and and it's a little different. And when I say tangible, I mean like physically tangible, because these digital um, resources are really useful as well. It's just that you can't physically hold them most of the time unless you print them out. So there's tons of ideas here, calculators, generators, like if you're trying to automate something, uh, spreadsheet, that's really good for calculations or trying to figure out inventory or something. Recipes are really good for the cooking space. So there's a lot of different things you can do here. The key is think about your end customer. Think about actually helping them. What is actually going to help them? So, for example, uh, not too long ago, I, and I'm still doing this, I'm promoting uh, for chiropractors and trying to help them get more patients. So I made a five-step guide or five different ways to get more patients fast without needing a huge budget and that is helping people get more patients and it's a great way to bring people in the door and I'm already getting opt-ins on it and it's a good offer and I could probably you know pair that with a con consultation or more tips or you know something like that uh, maybe even a free template for something you know those ideas are going to bring people in the door because it's low risk it's really easy for them to use and it's something desirable it's something they want you know, so think about your end customer. Think about what you would want if you were buying that in the store. You know, is it would you want a free sample of something? Would you want a free trial? You know, those are all applicable lead magnets. So that's the offer. Uh, I encourage you to go out and look at other funnels, see what they're doing, see what other people are doing as lead magnets. You probably see them in your Facebook feed every day, Instagram feed, Pinterest, etc. Somebody's offering you something because they want you to come into the funnel and so they can upsell you. Do the same thing. You're a marketer, you know, you know, understand the game, reverse engineer it. And if you want me to go through a video on how to reverse engineer offers and funnels, then we can do that. Leave a comment below. Uh, otherwise, in the future, in the next video, most likely, I'm going to show you how to uh, build a landing page with that offer in front that's going to get us leads. And that way it's going to lead people into our funnel which is really exciting because this is getting closer and closer to the actual sale of your product. I am so excited about you coming up with your offer, and I cannot wait to see what you come up with.
If you like this video, hit that like button so more people can see it. Jump on that subscribe button and slap that notification bell so you don't miss a single video from me on how to make more money online and live a happier life. There's a video right after this one, so stay tuned for that. Peace out for now.